Hey everyone. No? There we go. There we go. I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Dragon's Dogma. My wife called me. <laughs> I came back in at a good place. Oh no, a head with no body. Yeah, what you gonna fucking do? Try me, bitch. Huh. So is he in on it with the dragon? I am impressed. Oh, I'll be damned! Is your handiwork? For true? Well, primarily, I imagine it's all the pawns. Yeah, I do. Ancient tales of the Arisen are well and good for it. But make a gift of these heads to the Duke. And you might earn yourself a real title. So is the Duke gonna end up being a villain? I've never ever even seen a heroic Duke in the past. I see better now from whence the legends arose. Good judgment, swift footwork. Impressive, truly. In any case, the Duke will want to know of this attack. I'd hoped to gather a larger force before leaving for the capital. The capital. But the Hydra's head and the Arisen who claimed it make up the difference amply. I cannot say what the past may hold. It will be slow going with a cart. I dare say you will have no trouble catching up. We'll meet at the way soon. So then I Cool. I feel more familiar with this quest now. Getting ahead. Ha ha. So I, I've made a lot of choices about my character, but what I really want Flying monsters plague the path to Grand Soren. Okay. Flying monsters plague the path to Grand Soren. Welcome to Corneria. Um, I've made a lot of choices about my character, like, besides, like, s but I haven't actually gotten throat drops. That's kind of funny. I haven't gotten to do any, uh, any stats. Like, I haven't gotten to go fucking nuts over What's some that? stats. And that's what I want. Are used to instruct the men of the core in combat. Damn, this is so fucking cool. This might this dangerous monsters lurk in the water. Tread lightly, if at all. That terrible creature. I saw it. It's been dispatched. Uh, hold the moment. She was said to lead the village in search of art for your wounds. I thought you accompanied her. These huh. are dark times for a girl. And the You want to see for yourself. Uncertain where to go next. Make for the blue quest marker on your mini map. Okay. serves as a fine bulwark against monsters. Are we gonna get dudes uh, springing on us? Don't worry. I hold on. Find your bearings by consulting the map. Neither road. We make our own road. Sylvia's voice is kind of annoying. <laughs> so, uh, this game is really easy to record. Like, it's full screen, but it works very well with OBS. Holy shit. We just got held up by a random bandit wizard. Oh man, I'm really wishing I had a bow about now. Yeah, stop that. I love the idea of wizards who turn to banditry, like high women. So this is actually the uh, the same party composition I had in Dragon Age 2, and I usually try to stick with it in every Dragon Age. You got two fighters, or warriors, you have a rogue, so we've got this guy. Oh wow, that's rad. Strength in numbers, isn't it? There's a steep trade, not all. Doubly so with aught in hand. They, they keep using odd. I have no idea what that means, I'll be honest. I thought I thought it was not. 
Yes, hello. These are enemies, right? Why does this guy have the Jester's hat? Well, he'll catch up if he wants to fight us. Guys? Sir? Oh, that guy's dead. Oh, whoa, so... So that's a charge, it's not just the poke. I'm out of here, he says. This game is really fun. This is exactly what I wanted to play recently. I totally, totally wanted to just... Oh, they just teleported again. I wanted to play just this big fucking RPG with, like, action commands and... Ugh. So juiced about that. Hello. Yes, there isn't. Oh, it's a, just a pawn. Okay. Eep. Okay, so we can just find random pawns on the road. Let's be doubly sure of which will see us to our destination. I kind of wish I had a dodge, because all I have is the shield. This isn't the way to the capital. I wonder where it leads. I know. Taking a shortcut. Oh, I love the goblins. I just realized that goblins look like this in-game, and like, that's well established. But I still made a character named Goblina. That's just, that's just Stinger, like, let's be honest here. El Friedrich has leveled up. I really gotta... Alright, give me a sec, give me a sec. Really gotta nail down the spelling of my name. Oop, hunk of ore. Oh no, not another goblin. This is this game is so good. Like just the just the feeling of like the combat is just so good. Come look at me. This is so fucking cool, man. Oh, they're pounding on me. Yes. Be defensive. Goblin is level seven. So I wonder how high of a level you can actually get. Rift fragment. We have triumphed. This looks interesting. Keep watch on your surroundings. They hold threats and treasures alike. Any treasures here? Hold on. Thank you. I'm sure nothing bad will come of this. Or hold on. Aught bad shall come of this. If you're tired, rest. Well, you got a rock. See, what I really want is the ability to, like, level myself up. Hosen. <laughs> Silk lingerie. <laughs> Oh, God, that's...
Okay. Well, now the creator knows that I stripped his pawn. <laughs> oh goodness, that's silly. This game actually does have a pretty robust waifu engine. Because one of the things about Dark Souls is that, like, Dark Souls is definitely a character creator where, like, if you just spend too much time in it, you will make an ugly, ugly character. But this is actually a... This is actually a pretty decent character creator. Ooh, wow. Formidable stretch of terrain. How shall we proceed? <laughs> oh my god, look at the blood in the water. Oh, and I'm wet. My hair's wet, that's why I'm shiny. Yep, come on. Top me off. Yep, keep it coming. Oh, can't I eat, um... Oids? Status. Options. Here we go. Curatives. Poison. Oh, that's stamina. A uh, bit of health. Nice. Green marsh. Small nuts. Perfect. So yeah, I haven't seen the ability to play around with stats, and that's really what I want. I I would love the ability to be able to fuck around with my character's stats. Oh dear. Hey, we got a thousand bucks though. Okay, now. <laughs> oh god, are they all just gonna? Are they all just gonna hop off the ledge and follow me? Um. Cobal Coast. <laughs> this button, okay. I'm on a, I'm on a, um. I'm on a uh, PS4 controller. Okay. Slender carrot. I'll say that. A giant, eh? Is he saying fee fi fo fum? is on him. The pawn remains unconscious for too long. Hop on up. Okay, so we got Harpy's in. Haven't seen these guys in a while. Dude, Stinger, so good. It does not matter what universe Stinger is in. Stinger is always the best. Besides Devil May Cry 2, now that I think of it. I was hoping that jumping would save me. I was wrong. Right, the torso probably does more damage, whereas the legs will slow it down and the arms will stop it from attacking. That makes sense. So we got like subs. Dude, this is so radical. We got random wolves coming in. Look at me, asshole.
kind of wish that I had a lock on. This is so, this is so cool. Like, every fight feels like kind of important, you know? See, I would love to be able to stand here and shoot at it. See, you look like Goblina. She's got the right idea. I might start adventuring without pawns. Yeah, let's get up here and let's just pound on them, you know? having a bad day, I think, you know? So I did a little reading on, uh, on the topic of, of this game. Apparently, uh, playing a wizard in a single player really sucks. Because all you can really do for a lot of it is buff your, buff your buddies. Which means buffing pawns. You know, just buffing random AI pawns. Apparently the uh, Strider is more stealthy, but stealth isn't... isn't, like, fantastic in this game. Yeah! Jump off and get back on, that's so cool! What a, what a bunch of cool mechanics. So it looks like a heavy attack has a really high chance of making you fall. This is exactly this is exactly what I needed. This is this is anathema. The fucking stalker. Oh my god! He stepped onto his foot just so he could crush me. Sylvia, thank you. And uh, eat some carrots. I really need a better sword. I've literally got this rusted out piece of shit. I'm amazed this thing hasn't just broken half. Raw. Get him, Goblina. Oh man, this is so cool. The Hulk just all over him. So did he have another health bar after this? He sure does, wow. So I wonder what he would actually do. Because it's directed by a tune. I don't remember. Okay. Oh, Goblina. No, don't break. Get off. Start casting spells on him. So cool. That is some real shadow closet shit. I'm gonna take my stamina. 
Give me, give me a sec, guys. I gotta catch my breath. Oh, Goblina. Oh, Goblina's okay. For now. Jeez. Hey, look how much health I have left, though. Hey, 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 hey. Almost gonna fucking die. Wait, can I remote heal? Oh, I was gonna like try to remote heal Goblina. Oh, you actually can. Oh, you can give things to yourself. Well, I'll take all of those. Ah. Oh. Damn, I was hoping I could get her shit. See, I'm also trying to jump like a like the devil make rise. Oop. Goblina, hop up. This music is awesome by the way as well. I wanna share that. I'm I'm like gushing at this game. Yeah, I might not do end up doing a full LP of this. I might just play the main story on the channel, but I'm gonna play this whole game by myself, I can tell you that. <laughs> it's so it's kinda silly just to see like just four people hanging on to a fucking Cyclops. I'm just beating on him. Yes, buff me. Like, this is a long fight. Ah, oh, Sylvia, you're worthless. You're not worthless. Oh my god. <laughs> A terrible creature. Holy shit, dude. All right. I got too proud, you know? Also, the game did tell me, hey, get better equipment before you start doing shit. Yeah, I would love to get a horse. I mean, in this game, but also in general. Oh god, there's like five of them. Whoa! Holy shit! This guy's wearing berserker armor. Wow, they're way stronger than us. Okay, God, you know, I'm gonna help you tag team this. Bitch. Oh, she didn't get to finish her heal. What is this guy fucking doing? Oh, fuck. All right. Let's eat a pumpkin, too. Okay, so you can totally get, like, the block on. Not quite Royal Guard, but it'll do. Oh, he's healing. Shit. You need to be stopped. Okay, there goes one guy. Give me your money. That was a difficult fight. 
Yeah, one of the things about RPGs is that at some point I feel like you can just win by numbers. Like, you just have better numbers than the other guys, so... I'm almost at a hundred bucks. Oh, right. I gotta stop. Oh, boy. Criteria. Silk lingerie. Vagabond armor. Do you have anything for me? It's kind of ske- I feel a little skeezy about the fact that I hired someone who's wearing lingerie under her armor, but you know what? That's fine. It's fine for her in the universe, I guess. Oh boy, I'm getting lit up here. Nice. Tag me. I love how these bandits also have good party comp, you know? Oh, he like blighted me or something. I see health bars. Oh yeah, look down there. I have a little blindness thing next to my health bar. There's a cage built to hold a human monster. Is anyone inside? Can't you see if it has anyone inside? Oh my god, I'm so fucking blind. There's a land rife with spots where useful materials may hide. Well, that's great, but I can't see any of it. Oh, I'm in a. I, I, I found a wall. That's what's happening. <laughs> Okay, I think it's starting to clear. How would I be able to tell? <laughs> okay, cool, I can see again. Ah, uh, remember that time that I went blind, guys? Whoa, whoa, he got me. I feel like it's such overkill to like... I don't think that they do. Can I get this heal? Okay. I think like... Four humans in armor. With weapons and swords. I feel like that is overall stronger than some rabbit dogs. What's everyone's favorite like level one starter enemy? Wolves are always good, but rats are pretty common in uh, uh, Western RPGs. I've always been partial to goblins myself. Yeah, what I want is just a way to traverse the world quicker. And I don't necessarily want it to be fast travel. Because, like, the world is pretty, you know? Like, the textures are very Xbox 360. But, like, I don't mind that too much. It only hurts my eyes a little bit. Stock dog noise. <laughs> just a burning wolf gets thrown at me. Fuck. Haha, <laughs> hi, like a useful material. Oh god. Where did he go? I 
I love when they just get like shot into the sky. Oh, this he had a wolf pelt in his pocket. It sounds like a voice from Worms. Alright, back to the Cobble Coast. There's that boyo. Like, the idea of putting Devil May Cry combat in a long RPG like that is so interesting to me. It's um, what Final Fantasy XV was going for, I feel, and I actually really love Final Fantasy XV. Um, I'm aware that as a game, it suffers in some places. I'm willing to say that. Anytime. However, uh, I really enjoyed it. And it's looking like that's what Final Fantasy XVI is going to look like as well. Okay, so what do we got here? Big boy. Well, let's see if we can't just run past him. Like, we do so little damage to him, you know? Let's just kill the harpies and get the fuck out. Yep, yep, sure, guys. Oh, God, where am I going? Maybe I'm supposed to fight him? Guys, I'm already on here. Just get your own arm, you know? Oh, cool, so we actually just... for a big glorious attack, but it didn't work out. Oh fuck, I'm out of stems. See, it looks like the legs are tougher as well. Oh god, Blina. Okay, so let's try to pound on its, uh, pound on its face. I'm really starting to get tired of all of these, like, repeated voice lines. Okay, let's, uh, let's try to get on him, and let's try to beat his face open. Everyone's getting the right idea. There we go. Oh boy, oh boy, come on. Okay, so we're like... It looks like climbing on enemies is uh, how you kill things more effectively and quickly. Or at least that you need some way to reliably kill enemies quickly. Yeah, that's all good. What a gap in deep. Oh, boy! Get up. You need to get the other one up. Yep, come on, heal me. Thank you. Don't have all day. Okay, 
right, so we're like halfway through. Oh fuck, it's Goblin Man again. Alright, get up. So yeah, I I really love big RPGs. Like, it's probably no secret. I've talked about how much I love Elder Scrolls. I've uh, I'm currently playing Fallout New Vegas, and I'm playing this. But, like, this specific genre of, like, action game cross RPG is something that I feel should be... There should be way more of this, you know? Like, the only thing that I can think of that's like this... Uh, not even, though. Like, I would compare The Witcher to this, but, like, I don't actually like The Witcher that much. I played Witcher 3. I played a lot of it, in fact. But, like, something about it, like, I just couldn't abide, you know? Get on up. Alright, give me a sec. I just gotta get back up. Alright, come on. What is this? Oh. Fish. Of course, my character's from a fishing village. That makes perfect sense. Oh, Goblina. <sighs> I would love a dodge roll. I know that like knights in the real world never dodge rolled and that's just a video game thing, but like, ah, oh, fuck, man. Um, sir? Okay, that was a little weird. Like, fuck, I'm out of stams. Get your breath, get your breath. I probably hang on, uh, hung on to it, I should say. Alright, we're almost done. game, dude. Like, I'll be honest, I legitimately can't wait to do a whole bunch of side quests. <gasps> no! Bro. Bro. Um, I'll come back and do this fucking shit off screen. God damn it. Uh, why does he do so much damage? Fuck. Alright, Abed Alfred, Dragon's Dogma, Salt.